get sleepy fast. Alright gang, um, I rebooted the game to get the sound back. Did, did it and, come back? Yeah, it came back. And thankfully, all the collectibles save if you, uh, turn off the game and back on. So yeah, I don't have to, uh, I mean, I started, I mean, I was sent back to the beginning of the level, but I didn't have to get the collectibles back. And on my way back here, uh, I found a few secret areas. Oh yeah, we can ground pound this. See, so yeah, that's, that's the ladder we had to climb, but we can basically fly to this hand and go to that thing. Yippee. Basically, uh, re-killed all the enemies on my way here. And I, it turns out, yeah, we can easily glide over there. Pretty simple. Um, but that just takes us where we were, so we don't have to go there. And with that, let's continue through this place. Wow, well, I've re-killed these guys. I didn't get these gems! How do, how do I not get these gems? That's weird. How do I not get these gems? Huh. I guess these gems didn't save. That, that's weird. Anyway, um, let's meet this girl. It's a cute little mouse girl. Well, rather a tall mouse girl. Here first, just because. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty clever. Ineffective, though. Very ineffective. Sub-level? Sub-level. See what's uh, in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's look at the skill point. This is the underwater area. Okay. Um, destroy all the seaweed. Alright, this is the underwater area. Oh, Hunter, hi. I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology. Super high impact underwater missile launchers. Wanna ride him and try blasting some sharks? Okay, can't say none of that. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. Yeah, everything about this makes sense. Um, okay, so it, I do have to control it. So I guess with this guy I'm gonna destroy all the seaweed. This is basically a callback to Aquaria Tower, the Spire 2. We had this big, wide underwater area. We're destroying metal sharks. Robot sharks named Glenn. And whoa! Wow, you're right behind me. Ha! 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 Bet. Oh. Try not to get hit by the explosive. Ready to try? Okay, so it can't get hit at all. Yeah, basically call back to Aquaria Towers. Uh, robot sharks named Glenn, riding a manta. Did I think we rode a manta? And, uh, we did something with Hunter. And, uh, destroying seaweed. So that stuff comes in on you, that's not fair. Oh yeah, that was lucky. Okay, that one hit me and I did not take damage. 
If I take damage, I mean it didn't call off the challenge. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Sadie! Hi, Sadie! That's my friend. Yeah, so can I ride the Manta again so I can get the rest of these things? Yeah, sure. That's nice. They're not even, it's not even resetting the challenge. We can just ride around for fun. That's nice. There's a lot of seaweed. Jeez. Do all the seaweeds respawn whenever um, I reset the manta? That really sucks. But at least we don't have the sharks to worry about anymore. Yeah, that was easy. Let's collect the rest of these gems. Quantum Gemerald? I can't use the radar on the Manta. That sucks. How do you get off? You just gotta talk to Hunter. Missing two gems. That is so precise. It's not even funny. You can ride the matter ramp. That's kind of weird. That, that's kind of weird how that works. All right, so then. Sparks, where are you pointing? Are you just pointing to the X, Sparks? All righty. Where the hell am I missing two gems? It's probably like just a two pack of just one two two pack gem, you know. Sheesh. Don't you dare point me to Sheila's section. How the hell did we miss a gem in Sheila's section? Fuck you, Spyro. Hi, Spyro. Well, I guess we never actually heard that dialogue, did we? How the hell did we miss a gem in here? You lucky bastards survived Sheila's onslaught.
What? Oh. Okay, so you can refine eggs. That is kind of stupid. Well, hello again, Lester. Um. It's kind of stupid. Let's keep going. I didn't take damage from that. It's funny. Lucky bastard survive! How'd I not kill him? Or at least get that gem. That is just stupid. Hello again, Pete. Now get out of my way. We listen to Sheila's line. Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Yeah, you're pretty awesome, Sheila. Alright, we listen to the dialogue, let's get out of here. Jeez, I can't believe you missed that gem. We basically had to replay the whole section, too. Ugh. We don't need me climb up here. Oh my god, you idiot! Get this help. Sarah. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. Marty! Martyo. So yeah, this girl is a reference to Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. And her name is Tara, so that's pretty funny. Um, and that's basically a shortcut. Um, we're missing one egg. Ah, we are missing one egg! And we found all the gems! Oh, hallelujah! That makes this extra hard. Well, I know for a fact it's not Sheila's section, because we had to replay Sheila's section, and we found both of those eggs. Yeah, we've been up there. <laughs> wow, I hate this. I hate it when we found all the gems that are missing an egg. Let's go back in here. I feel like maybe we didn't search this temple too well. Was there somewhere else I can glide to from up here? Like I, I got a 1-up and a 25-er out of this. That actually takes me to the sub level. Is there something else we can do in this section? Say. Okay. By the way, if you see Bianca around, can you tell her to meet me here? I uh, promised I'd give her scuba lessons once the sharks were gone. <laughs> That's cute how he and Bianca are just friends now. <sighs> I swear that should have been the egg. Oh, just went to the top of this little temple. You didn't know you could come up here, did you? We'll have an egg. Let's actually... Thing. Give me a hand. Okay. You can barely read, um... 
can barely read the uh, the actual pin. Like I like how it's kind of like the Power Moons in Mario Odyssey. Each of these um, eggs have a have a distinct um, have a distinct name. Well, not really a name per se, but um, hints or mission prompt rather. Same difference. Came the wrong way. Crap. I don't know, let's go up here. Like, even in Mario Odyssey, you could ask for the actual hint names, and then you can distinguish where the actual power moon is. And this one is... And this one's the very same, you just, you can barely read the hit names once you make it out. Um... Uh, once you make it out, you can distinguish where the egg is. I'm assuming it involves these giant hands. Now I have a vivid, I vivid idea where it could be. Seriously, that checkpoint didn't register? Oh, you idiot. Why do these guys respond but the scorpions don't? That is so stupid. These guys are way more annoying than the scorpions. takes us over there. Is this handout thing go? Over? Is there anywhere else I can go on this hand? Do I just have to go over here? I thought this was an area- Oh, I'm so stupid! I thought this was an area we've been to. And that was just another way to get here. Wow, what a waste. Andy! Andy Dick. That's right. Yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Can't you say anything else? No, Andy. I'm not even going back that direction. I'm going this way. How are you alive? What? Okay, I saw that this floor did not load in. Oh, I'm catching these glitches. I'll let you live. Alrighty, that was a good level. Got a little Lara Croft cameo. Now, so Lara, Lara Croft is a, a mouse woman. That makes her a lot cooler. She's really cute that way. Fittingly, our next level should actually be uh, a tomb. It's like these two levels are just interconnected. First, we have the desert ruins, and now we're going to an actual tomb. Yeah, just right over here. Easy. The haunted tomb. Here we go. We got mummies. I, I, I vaguely remember this level. Let's actually look at the skill point. Uh, swim into the dark hole. All right, that sounds, that sounds like it could lead to some dirty jokes, but I'll do it. 
Let's talk to you just for fun. You look interesting. Your name's yes, Dan. Another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Okay. So we need one of you guys. We need one of you guys to like come over here, or I'm not. Maybe just have to. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy, get over here. I oh, know we just had to run in there. So it's actually really fitting that we do this all right after Desert Ruins, because this is like the tomb that Terra was in. Okay, that guy's in the of flame. Oh, oh, I just ate something. Okay, we had to shoot these things at him. I get all oh, you. Oh, that was just a dick move. That thing exploded right when I was by the edge. Alright, this is a marvelous start to this level. Now let's go in here, please. Right, take that thing and spit it at you. Okay, you guys are the chargeable enemies. Destroy these coffins. Yes, I can. Okay, we have to just, we have to do that. Yeah, so I just need another one of these things. I can destroy the coffin at the beginning. Hold backwards first, in case we don't miss anything in this room. Ow. 
Ow. There's a one-up. I just broke a one-up, come on. Get the one-up. Where the hell's the one-up at? everything up there now. I was at a skill point where I have to get through there without getting hit. Whoa! Whoa! I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. These could be breakable, but I guess not. Christine! Christina Uno, daughter of Chris Uno, and Maddie Murphy. Not really Christine, but close enough. I don't know any Christines. Well, the new adventures of old Christine, that's the only one I know. Anyone remember that show? It was alright. There it is. Realize I'm close to an edge. Well, here's another gen that Sparks can't pick up because it's too clipped into the wall. I remember this room. The first round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? That is correct. Yeah, yeah, that makes Good sense. Luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. I mean, like, 100 dragons could lay 100 eggs in the same amount of years. So, um, was 12 years. Uh, press the A button for a straight shot, Y for a lob shot. What's a lob shot? And we can strafe. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's what a long shot is.
Whoa! Okay. That was so easy. Well, that was a fierce battle indeed. No, it wasn't. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. MJ! Uh, Mary Jane Watson from Spider-Man. I think it was Watson. I don't remember. The championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? Uh, no. My, my, such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. Wow. Oh, wow, that was just a cheap shot, buddy. I see that guy over there. That was easy. See that guy. See you. Yeah, I can see one over there. I see his little wind. Yeah, now he gets a cheap shot. Buddy. This is the most boring uh, car cannon shooter game ever. <laughs> I think I've seen, yeah, there's one more back there. Oh, the last one. Where's the last guy at? Back there? Have I been back there? It's probably back there. Yeah, okay, I can see him. They're, they're kind of well hidden, but still. This is not challenging in the slightest. That was the most boring cannon battle ever. Heck, yeah, because Dragon's been gone for a thousand years. TJ! Oh, that's fitting. <laughs> nice. TJ Hooker. Um, more to spark, there's no collectibles here. Well, now we can just uh, freely run around this thing. Can we get hurt in this? Yeah, because that makes sense. If this were Mario or Banjo, we can get hurt at. Or Sonic 2006, because Sonic 2006, I accidentally hooded attack into, into that miscellaneous torch and I died. Wow, that was just uh, an embarrassing moment for me. So let's just get out of here. It's a pretty neat level. I like this little Egyptian dog race. I guess they're Anubises. It's an Egyptian dog card! You're a different one. Oh! Agent 9! Oh, it's Agent 9 again! That's kind of weird. We get, like, two Agent 9 levels in uh, one world. Which... I mean, not counting his uh, tutorial level, which makes sense because, like, we just got Agent 9. We need, it's like the end of the game and we got Agent 9, so we gotta give him a fair, a fair amount of use. Alright, I remember, I remember this part. It's a slide. And I wish they'd use this mechanic more often. Shit. I wish they'd use that mechanic more often because I like sliding in video games. Like, Spongebob has fighting sections, Mario, six, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, but only once, and it's, like, super easy. Um, Mario Galaxy 2 had slides, those are crazy. Um, Rayman 2, did I mention that? Either way, I just really love sliding sections in video games. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna kill you again if I don't need to. 
Okay, let's actually talk to you because you're probably a checkpoint. You've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? A bandicoot, that's hilarious. Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorcerers. That was an obvious Crash Bandicoot reference right there. Will! Hi, Will! William Turner! I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. What? Now I can finally head off the seashell shore to bury some bones. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the that's one of the er, the first levels, wasn't it? So how old are these guys? This is some interesting lore. Um, I want to beat the slide first. Now I know Spyro Four does have um, some major sliding sections. Okay, well that was an abrupt slowdown, but it helped. This is like the only slide in Spyro 3. Well, that's all the gems. This is easy. Hey, it's Malcolm in Middle! I'm not a boy. Oh, yes, you are. I guess I have... Okay, I guess I have to go over here to and loop back up. That's annoying. So, like, right, getting all the gems in this level was extremely easy. I gotta go back and see that 1-up respawn. I don't know why I didn't get that 1-up. Let's, uh, do the last Agent 9 section. funny half but a curse on me just cause I shot him in the butt a couple times. He said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kinda funny come to think of it. Oh boy, that dog's gonna pay! Alrighty. Well, now we know there are no gems in here, so we don't have to worry about that. It's Prince Ali. <laughs> I get it, because they're dogs. It is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. I do appreciate the riddles in this level. This is it makes it pretty fun. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. My, my, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. <laughs> you may proceed to the first trial. All right. Well, goodbye, sweetie. Love you. Love you too. I get. You sure for breakfast tomorrow? Sure. All right. Uh, so let's wait back. I love how the bullets just ricochet. It makes this a lot easier. I gotta shoot these things too, apparently. Oh, they're also snakes. Okay. Well, there's the snakes that don't attack me, so that's even easier. Now we have mummies, of course. Shoot ahead of time and just cheat it. That would have been hilarious. Oh, that, that's totally what should have happened. Whoa. Is 
that to get these. Okay, okay, so yeah, he can pick these up and throw them just like Spyro can. Alright, so they changed that one up a little bit, but wow, this was dead easy. Roxy! Roxy Lalonde, I think. I think was her name from Homestuck. Wow, that was just, uh, Agent Nine sections? Well, t half of Agent Nine sections were extremely easy, the other half was pretty difficult and tedious. They only won in Fireworks Factory. Wow, this was just an ex- Oh, wait, we never found the dark hole. Whoops. No, no, no. Um, swim into the dark hole? Swim? <laughs> well, we're more than underwater section. Like, when you say swim, I expect it to be underwater. I mean, there's a lot of water around here, but this is like water we can't touch. I'm not, I don't know, I'm honestly not sure how that slide works. No, it's not complete. We need that last skill point. This is an epic way to finish the level, just finding the last skill point. Oh, we cannot cheat the slide, that sucks. How did Sp- the, the only reason I got past this slide was because Spyro abruptly stopped. Was that just a glitch that worked in my- It's just another one of the game's jank and it just worked in my favor. Where the hell is this dark hole? Swim into the dark hole. There, there was no underwater section. Ah, what? What? Another dead is my I know. Did I just bump into him and he took damage? That's weird. Is this it? Oh wow, are you kidding me? Yeah, that is just... That is just the simplest skill point. I cannot believe I didn't think to go in there. Let's look for that one up. Well, we have found all the skill points. It was a lot easier than Spyro 2 because, uh, you know, there's no time trials for the friggin' speedways. I guess this calls for a fanfare. Okay, the one up is not responding responding, so I guess we can go. I guess we collected it. I didn't realize it. That was an extremely easy level. With an easy skill point to boot. Are we going to see Bentley again? I'm trying to think if there's any Bentley sections in this world. It's like the last Bentley section we did was that mini boss. Is that just going to be the last Bentley section? If that's so, then Bentley is just heavily underused. I'm like, I mean, yeah, he is, he is the worst character to play as in this game, besides Sparks. So, uh, I wouldn't mind if there's just no more Bentley sections. Um, we never really heard the music in Dino Mine, so maybe we should go back in there. Just trying to think, uh, where we haven't gone yet. There is some secret level. In here. That's the start. Now, what's this? Crystal Islands. Okay, we have not been here. Okay, here's another level.
Wow, we found all the skill points. We don't have to look for skill points anymore. So I don't have to open that menu. This is as simple as going into that dark tunnel. Alright, I'm intrigued. This has a great aesthetic. Wow. Wow. I really, alright, I really love this aesthetic. Pretty creepy here, though. That little crystal people. There had to be a Bentley section here. There has to be. They just can't end the game that had the last world with no Bentley. I don't think there's a... In that case, I don't think there'd be a Sergeant, um, Sergeant Bird section then. Because we've had plenty of Sergeant Bird sections already. So I might just, uh, not have any more Sergeant Bird. Then we get just two Agent 9 sections. Not counting his tutorial. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there's nothing up my left sleeve and nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! That is pretty awesome. Sounds like it is time, though. See those boosters? Oh, there's gonna be a race. Oh boy. All oh, this magic is just misdirection, you know? Which is why I'm going Frederica. to start that whirlwind over there. Abracadabra! Please say magic words, buddy. I don't remember this level at all. So this is actually pretty neat. Oh, there's an egg. Oh, good thing we checked back this way. There's an egg. Many. Safe light back this way. Very just keep them on infinitely. I guess it wouldn't be as challenging. 
challenging, eh? Just in case. Alright, let's see if there's anything we missed down there, so let's go. There's my bag again, yay. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. Very good. Not again, okay, Let's fine. See. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. I'm afraid the show's over, Spyro. Why don't you go play with... All right. Those are called, they're called gnomes, alright. The little gnome race, that's cute. under here Yeah, how do you like that, buddy? Well, I suppose I could show you my new trick as long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni steals all my best work. Alakazam! That's the same spell as the other guy. Oh, that, oh, that is the same spell as the other guy, because it's just the giant gem platforms. Whoa! Dude, Spyro! Random angles! Well, here's a... Hidden little sub level. Slide? Alright, now we're just having a bunch of sliding sections. Okay, not bad. I like it. I like sliding sections. Then we get to Spyro 4. It's gonna have. I don't remember how many sliding sections Spyro 4 had. Well, it's a lot easier than the than the uh, haunted tomb one for some reason. Eloys. That would have been cute if he sneezed into the exit. All right. Well, I trust that there's nothing else in this section. That was a fun slide. You can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but uh, my magic it just keeps bouncing off. Ah, dragons are impervious to magic, baby! Haha! <laughs> Siegfried and Lloyd! Oh yeah, we we did have a Siegfried Siegfried dragon. We gotta bring him over here. You know what's weird is that the ending the ending NPCs go into the exit portal like they're like they usually do to like activate the balloon to the next world. But the problem is there is no next world, so what are they leaving for? It's kinda weird. We can fly over here. Ah, oh, there's a key somewhere. Well, we just started to find a key. 
There's still more we can discover, because we didn't find out what these boosts are for. Bentley? Yeah, Bentley! I knew it! There is a Bentley here. Well, I mean, Bentley is here. So what are we... Okay, we're just chasing this dude. Well, yeah, we can we can actually fly in this level, so there's probably uh, some stuff hidden on these, um, hidden up here and stuff. Oh, you trickster. Devil. Let's just replenish this. Oh, I bumped into nothing, I swear. I swear he flew through there. There you are. At least I ambushed you. You can't use the boosts! Na 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 na! He can't use the boosts. Max! Max Murphy, son of Zack Murphy, and Mako Mankinshoku. Alright, let's go do Bentley. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Rangdini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. Alright, this is the last Bentley section. Or is all his breakable things or these metal these metal crates? Well, steel crates and space. The metal crates are the ones we can just charge. Yeah, I'm gonna go get these buckles first. Probably gonna have to do like an escort mission or something. Yay! Aren't we glad we landed on that number? Stupid game. Yeah, this feels like an escort mission, this big wide area. Bunch of enemies wanting to attack us. This show seems to have overexcited them all. All they need is a good bunker on the head to calm them down. Of course, there has to be a lack of mole game with Bentley. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful, my friends are trying to burrow after them. Well, that's uh, adds unnecessary difficulty. I didn't expect this kind of mi mini game. I'm like too many people closer together. Oh, screw that, I was just one away. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I bashed your head, buddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you fuck! Subbing my ass. Wow, I do not like this section. Like, trying to catch the moles is hard enough, but then these stupid ass gnomes are just shove you all over the place. Like, the gnomes in this challenge are just unnecessary. They are, like, extremely unnecessary. Oh, 